Hey, what's up? This is Donovan Green, fitnesscoach2.com. I know everybody goes to the gym and the first thing they run to is the treadmill. They think the treadmill is going to be the big almighty monster for taking weight off or cutting out body fat. To tell you the honest truth, treadmills are very heavy on your knees and very heavy on your hips and your joints. However, I'm going to show you some routines on how you can manipulate your treadmill and utilize your treadmill as your monster workout. People are going to look at you like you're mad in your head in the gym, but trust me when I tell you, you're going to burn some calories off and you're going to get results. So whether you're a man or a woman, I hope you're ready for this workout because I'm going to show you a basic routine that you can utilize in your gym and you know it already. All right, Donovan Green, fitnesscoach2.com. Make sure you keep on logging on so you get all these new ideas and all these adventures in your gym. So how I'm going to start off, I'm going to start off with a basic run, nothing crazy, but I'm going to put the pace to like about a 5.0 and I'm going to run for a 45 second routine and then rest for 20 and then 45 and then 20. We're going to do four rounds of that, okay? So let's get started first. I'm setting the treadmill up and once again, make sure your body is warm enough, make sure it's nice and warm. I'm setting it to a 5.0 run and I'm doing the run, setting my timer, nothing heavy. You don't have to go fast, just make sure you're focusing on your breathing and make sure every time you land on that treadmill, you're landing nice and soft. You're not landing heavy like a ton of steel or like a boulder rock. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Keep a nice posture, relax your shoulders. You're going to do this run and each time after the time goes off, every time we're going to increase the speed by five, by 0.5 tempo. Focus on that breathing. Okay, 20 seconds rest, cut it down to 3.4. Take a nice little walk. So now, when the clock goes back off, we're gonna bring that pace up to 5.5. Take that deep breath in, get ready to go to 5.5. Start the jog again, 5.5. We're gonna do four rounds. Remember, after each round, we're adding 0.5 tempo. So after this move, the next level is gonna be 6.0. Relax your shoulders, take your time. And breathe. And smile. Smiling is good. There's nothing wrong with smiling. You ain't a punk if you smile. <sighs> see this, see, 5.5. I'm cutting it down. Going back down to 3.4. Going back to walking pace. The tempo on the treadmill is 3.4, okay? Now we're gonna go to 6.0. This is round three. Remember, this workout is going to get a little bit intense, so let's go, start the jogging, 6.0, it's a little faster, focus on that breathing. If you feel lightheaded or anything, press stop immediately and drink that water. You're probably low on sugar, get a piece of candy, drink some apple juice and recover. Keep your abdominals tight. Remember, do not land heavy. Do not land hard, land soft. Go back down, bring it down to 3.4. Go back into that walk pace. Walking it out. I'm feeling good already. I'm feeling really good. I know that results come from how hard you work, so if you need results, you gotta work hard. I'm not about baby workouts. There's nothing known as girl workouts either. Now I'm going to 6.5. This is the last round. If you're more advanced than the average beginner or someone who's intermediate, you can start off at a higher pace. Remember, focus on your breathing, your posture, and your form.
Keep your mind right. <laughs> Keep your mind right. Don't go fall on the treadmill. And I'm cutting it down to 3.4. That's round four. Okay? I'm gonna let it cool down for a second. You're gonna hear the clock go ballistic. It's gonna go crazy. What I'm gonna do is just let it relax, let the body cool, and relax. Take those deep breaths. You hear the clock? It's going ballistic. So that's the end of that part for the treadmill. But that's not the end of the treadmill workout. So I'm going to press stop. And I'm going to look at you and tell you good job. Next move is going to be release the safety magnet. You see this right here? Release the safety magnet. Make sure the treadmill do not start on its own. So now we're going to do reverse pulls. I'm going to reset the clock. I'm going to go for four rounds again. Hope you're ready for this one. This is gonna be full blaster. So bring your butt down in that treadmill. Ready? Grab, hips up, and start to pull. Pull your body up. 45 seconds on the pull. Try to keep your hips up, try to keep it tight. Woo! Feel the burn. Taking the treadmill to another level. Another planet. Come on, guys. Remember, this is Donovan Green, fitnesscoach2.com. You need to work out, you come and talk to me. You call me. And I'd be more than happy to talk to you on that phone. I'm going to rest. And the reason why I'm going to rest is because it hurts. I'm going back again. Going to pull it up. Focus on that form. If you feel pain, ain't nothing wrong with resting. Resting is a part of life. Without rest, your body don't recover. I'm gonna go for another round of this one. You see the sweat? This is not a shower. Why did not take a shower? This is sweat. I'm sweating. You got about five seconds, maybe ten. Catch your breath. Let's go. Start pulling that body up. You say you want to get results. You want to take this weight off. You want to develop this muscle. You want to get your body looking good. You're tired of feeling tired. You're tired of looking tired. Well, wake the hell up and get started. I'm gonna give myself two seconds, come up with some air, I'm going back again. I'm not trying to rest for no more than five seconds. If I gotta rest five times, that's still five seconds, no more than that. And you keep on pulling. Breathe. I'm trying to get a few more before that clock goes off. Thank God. Did I tell you I love that bell? Got two more rounds to go. Two more rounds. Yeah, this is a treadmill workout. There's a lot more where that came from. This is just the beginning of it. Go to your gym and do this stuff. Guarantee people are going to ask you a lot of questions. You let them know where you got this from. Fitnesscoach2.com. Donovan Green, OK? Pull that body up. Keep that chest up. You should feel a great amount of pressure in your biceps right now. <sighs> Woo! You should feel all of this right here working. It's working your biceps, your real delts, your latissimus dorsi, every muscle from the back. You're doing that. It's called a reverse pull-up. <sighs> you could do this at home. <sighs> you could do this in the gym. You could do this in the park. <sighs> Whatever you do, don't try to do it from your chandelier. It might fall and break. Find something sturdy to hold on to and pull yourself up. Oh, thank God. I love it. How do you get results anyway? You get results from eating right, not just exercise. You got to make sure you eat right. Vegetables, fruits, lots of water. Leave the sugar alone and all the fats. Last round. Going for that full pull. Try to give me all you got. I'm expecting to rest no more than twice. That's my goal. I don't want to rest no more than two times. So if I stop now, that's too soon to stop. Oh, God. Uh, okay, that's my one set. I can rest. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Remember, give me what you got. Give me what you got. Reverse pulse. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Come on. Oh my.
my God. I tried my best to give you all I got. That's all I got. I heard it a lot. Wow. Okay, so guys, what I'm telling you is this, right? In fitness, you gotta be willing to come in here. Sweat got in my eye. Sweat got in my eye? Yeah, I'm better. You gotta be willing to come in here and train hard. You hear that clock? I'm telling you, I love that sound. That sound is like beauty. It's beautiful. It's better than hearing it at a Wanda Lotto. But you gotta be willing to come, train hard, with the mentality that no one or nothing is gonna stop you from working out. You've got to push it. You've got to be in it to win it. Your mind is your best weapon. You've got to tell yourself you can do this. And there's nothing wrong with muscular failure. That's how you've got to train. You've got to go to the point to where your muscles fail on you. This is Donovan Green on the Treadmill Drills, fitnesscoach2.com. I'm going to see you in the next time. Peace and love. Enjoy your day. Remember, stay healthy.